this next reading from Great Is Thy Faithfulness, I would really like to dedicate to my three brothers, Nid, Bogdan, and my adopted brother, Edward. I love all three of you very much. Thank you for being part of my lives. And thank you for our communication. You mean the world to me. April 3rd, too much ambition. Read Mark 10, verses 35 through 45. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Mark 10, 45. If you are familiar with the works of William Shakespeare, you know that Macbeth was one of his characters. Macbeth wanted so much to be king that he resorted to murder, and he paid for it with his life. We are like that tragic character when we let our ambitions cloud our thinking and forget who is really in control of our lives. I think the reason that I'm dedicating this reading to those three is because they know my story and how clouded my thinking was and how I truly forgot that God was in control of my life. We may not use evil methods to achieve our goals, but we do allow ambition to cloud our thinking about the sovereignty of God. Instead of leaving matters in His hands, we take them into our own, you know. Another example of too much ambition is found in the conversation James and John had with Jesus in Mark 10. Their goal was to sit in the positions of greatest prestige and power in the kingdom. And because they weren't content to wait and see if Jesus would bestow that honor on them, they boldly requested it. They were too impatient to leave the matter in his hands. Peaches says hello. Ambition is not always wrong, but when it consumes us so that we can't wait for God, we display a lack of faith as the disciples did. Hello, Peaches. Everybody says hello. When we submit our goals and desires to the Lord, we can be sure that He will give us what is best. Be ambitious for the Lord, but be cautious about your motives. Wow. That'd be a good thing for me to meditate on today. Why do I share these readings? Why do I send out sober readings and Bible verses on my phone every day? What is my motive? Just to learn how to love. I'm not looking for anything out of it. Maybe to touch one person's life. Kind of like how God touched mine. 